every single person who is watching this video knows someone who has a little bit more pounds than they should have. And the major part of our society is calling those people lazy and having no control over their food intake. Modern day technology has brought us so much, but it also brought us a lot of downsides. And one of those is that obesity is growing like wheat and the amount of people suffering from it is shocking. In this video I would like to compare ourselves with our ancestors and see how much our health has improved. Of course we live longer than our ancestors, but do we really feel healthier and how have our bodies transformed? Suffering from, from obesity has nothing to do with uh, having a lack of motivation to work out or to eat healthy. Actually obesity is a disease and in these days we are full of stress and therefore we will uh, start to eat more to satisfy uh, our needs and therefore you can gain a lot of weight. Now people who gain weight have a low, lower self-esteem and will be bullied a lot at school like kids on school and when that happens they will uh, give up their lives basically and start to eat more and more and that way they will develop kind of uh, nutrient or food addiction and food is one of the worst addictions if you ask me ask me because uh, you can can't go without food you have to eat to stay alive and if you're addicted to drugs or alcohol you don't have to take those to stay alive so you can't live without food and therefore you will be always remembered by your addiction and that's one of the biggest difference between us and our ancestors because they didn't have a lot of food and the food that they have uh, was just eaten to get energy and people now eat a lot of food because of the comforting effect of it in every corner of the street you can find some place to eat it can be a supermarket but also one of the uh, big food industries that are grown like wheat and this is a major problem because you don't have to walk a long distance to get some food. So what does technology have to do with all of this? Well, first of all, because it, it will help us to improve the uh, possibility of producing food. Uh, with the in industrial of food, we can produce as much food as we need. The industry, however, can decide what they put in their food. They, they add artificial flavors and unnecessary sugars in products that don't really need that. And this will make us depending on all those stuff. So uh, we are almost sugar addicted and we need the artificial flavors because we don't like boring and plain food. And that's what the industry is good, good at. Now let's get back to our ancestors. And let's take cavemen for example. Have you ever seen a fat caveman? I don't think so because they didn't have photographs. But even if they had, there wouldn't be any because they didn't have a lot of food. So their calorie intake was pretty minimum. And they hunt. They have to hunt to get their food, and this this will burn their calories a lot. Now let me take a, a look at the diet that those cavemen probably ate. Well basically it's all all the food that they had was something that can grow. So let's see what food can grow. First of all you have eggs, you have fruit and vegetables and also nuts and seeds. Then comes the fish because a fish is first a little small uh, fish and grows later on. And also meat. Every kind of meat basically because a cow don't start as a cow, but it's first a calf and starts to grow later on. So everything that can grow is a good option for you to eat. So making the right choices of food will help you to uh, reduce the chance of getting overweight. And another tip is to uh, start living more like a caveman. A caveman had to hunt for his uh, food first and therefore it will burn calories. Now you can, well you can't 
run after the chickens of your neighbor, but it's maybe it's a better idea to just work out right before you're going to eat and therefore burn the calories that you uh, will be eating the, the meal after it. Let's get back to the major problem that I introduced in this video, which was obesity. Now, as I said before, obesity is not just a mental problem, but it's really more a kind of disease. And if you see someone who is having overweight, don't go and point at him and laugh, but try to help that person just by being nice to him, and him or her. And if they notice that they will still be appreciated, even if they have overweight, uh, they will start to see their positive uh, points about their cells and won't focus on their big problem like overweight and this will make it a lot easier for that person to cope with this problem. Now if you have overweight or obesity and you're watching this video then my advice to you is to find professional help. I really can't help you to make schedules to work out and make diet plans because I'm not a licensed, pro licensed professional and I really don't know how to help people with a big amount of overweight. That's it for this video. I hope you have learned a little bit more about obesity and the reason why someone can get it and don't judge pe a person because he has overweight. Try to be nice to that person and uh, try to advise him to get some professional help if needed.